what is fog or edge computing? Edge computing and fog computing are huge buzzwords at the moment, so I want to try to explain what they are. It basically means instead of collecting data on your phone and sending it to a server far away to be analyzed, you perform the analysis on your device. So Apple's fingerprint recognition is a great example or their facial recognition. So if I want to use face ID or fingerprint ID, I simply put my fingerprint on it and the phone will use artificial intelligence and machine learning to recognize it. So we now perform more and more calculations on devices because our chips, our computer chips within them are becoming more powerful. And this is enabling this whole new world where internet connected devices make more decisions and process more data. A good example is CCTV camera. So if we record like in a home security camera, for example, in the past, we would link these security cameras up to a live stream and this would then record this somewhere on a server and it would record this 24 hours a day. And for the vast majority, nothing happens. And every now and then someone turns up and the camera records it. But if the camera is not intelligent enough, it will just record and the processing will take place somewhere in the cloud on a, on a server somewhere far away. Modern day security cameras actually have this intelligence built in. So they know that nothing is happening here. So I actually don't have to send this data anywhere. I will only record the bits when something is happening, when there's movement, when someone's turning up. And this is the power of edge computing that is actually more of the computing activity and the intelligence processing takes place on the edge where the device sits in the camera on your phone and it reduces the bandwidth that we need. So we don't need to send petabytes of data back to a cloud server, we can only send this the bits of information we really need. So this is edge computing and fog computing. And this is, will be instrumental for self-driving cars, for more intelligent Internet of Things devices. If you want to learn more, check out my other YouTube uh, videos or head to my website at bernardmar.com where you can find tons of articles and white papers on this.